Thank you, sir. What I should do, sir? Why, why this one? Probability. Very, very good. Nice. Nine, see here the present a working model on intersect intersection of set. Okay, it's a working model, eh? Yes. Do it. When set A intersects set B, so the intersection part and uh, one and seven is in the intersection part. Hmm. This is, uh, so this is the uh, A intersection. Part. Okay. The property of shapes when ah. it looks the same after oh. some addition by a partial turn. Ah, yeah, yes, yes. So, example, good, good. if you turn this 90 degree, it doesn't look the same as that. Okay. After turning 180 degree, also it doesn't look the same. After turning 270 also it doesn't look the same as After turning 360 degree, a complete rotation, it looks the same. It mm. is the property of the equilateral plane. I understood. Okay, yeah. nice. Oh, but this is visualizing 3D shapes master. If you pull this, if you pull this one, you can see the 3D shapes of this. is square master. The wow. 3D shape of square is cute. Okay, okay, okay. All this? We have country A and country B, sir. So with the help of satellite, we have found that country A is going to launch a missile to destroy country B, sir. Okay. So with the help of satellite and uh, other radars, we have uh, found... Actually, this uh, I could remember uh, somewhere I heard about this. Okay. Uh. We have found the path of the missile, sir. Uh. So uh, now I know the highest point till the base, sir. And I know where the from. From where the missile is going to attack, from there to the base point, sir. With the Pythagoras theorem, I can find the hypotenuse, sir. So with that, I can find an anti-missile to destroy it. Okay. The square of the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of the square of other two sides, sir. Mm. So this will be the formula of Pythagoras theorem. A square mm. plus B square is C square. Mm. So when we add A square and B square, we will get the value of C square. Okay. Today we have the concept of probability. Probability it is used in our daily day day to day life, sir. It is it is used to solve the confusions in our day to day life. Yes, sir. Every time it is confusing means what to do. Okay, huh? Okay, sir. So there are many types of probability. Today I have come up with three main types, sir. Okay. Equally likely event, impossible event, and sure event. Sir. Okay. So first of all, equally likely event. Hmm. So let's imagine there's a cricket match going on, sir. Hmm. India versus Pakistan. Hmm. So. What is this, what will be the starting step of the cricket, sir? We'll toss a coin, right, sir? Mm. So India chooses uh, tail and Pakistan okay. chooses head. Mm. So what do you think the India will get tail or head? So 50, 50 chances are there, no, sir? Oh. So tail 50 and mm. heads 50. Mm. So this 50, 50 chances is known as equally likely event. Oh. So it has equal chance okay. and impossible event. So I have three club cards here, sir. Mm. So I want you to pick a diamond card, sir. Is this possible to pick a diamond card, sir? No diamond card here. That's what, sir. It's impossible to pick a diamond card, ah. sir. So that's why it is called as impossible. Very good. Put it sir. Very, very good. Nice, nice. nice. Ah. And sure even, sir. Ah. So I have a bowl full of pink balls, sir. Ah. So I wanted to pick a pink, pink ball, sir. All are pink. Yes, sir. So whenever, ah. <laughs> so whenever you pick a pink ball, ah. of course it's going to be pink, sir. Yes. It's sure to happen. So sure this is... Yeah. This is not a short event. I am here to explain a project of applications of trigonometry. Okay. Trigonometry is nothing but measuring the angles of the triangle. Uh. Right angle triangle is uh, namely adjacent, opposite and hypotenuse. Okay. The further of the trigonometry is Euclid. Hmm. Here I am going to measure the height of the tree with the help of the adjacent uh, centimeter from the kilometer to the tree and the, with the angles. To find this, to find this centimeter and the height of the tree, we are going to apply the uh, apply these values in the trig uh, trigonometric ratio formula. Mm -hmm. Tan theta is equal to 40, 30 degrees. With that, if you apply the values in the trigonometric ratio, we will get the answer 20 centimeter. Sir, you have to do more. You have to do more. You have to do more. Okay, now, now, now. Sir, sir. Sir, this is about. Good morning, sir. I am from Agnes Yuki from 9H. I'm going to explain about clinometer. Clinometer is found by William Ambrey before 1880s. Where you have written? Here, sir. Oh, name Ogan, William. It is an instrument to measure the height of something. Uh, it was probably used in the forest areas to measure the height of the trees and in many more places, sir. It works on the principle of geometry and angles. So now we can find the height of the lift that travels. Um, we have a formula that is tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent. The opposite side is going to be that the height of the lift traveled and the adjacent side is going to be from the distance from the ground to the center of the protractor. It's going to be the adjacent side. And the value of theta is 30 degrees. So we are, when we apply all these values in the formulas, we will derive probability, Master. Yes. 
Casino is a gameplay which you profit to the people. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Master, okay. you can keep this trophy at any of these numbers, Master. Yeah, no. Sir, okay. Now, when spinning this, hmm. if this ball lands on the same number, hmm. you can take that bet or else that bet will be taken by the manager. Yeah. There is a, 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 a fraction of well-defined oh. objects. Oh. And uh, John Wynn was English mathematician. He invented the Wynn diagram, hmm. which pictorially, uh, pictorially represent by the relation between the set. Okay. And, uh, Venn diagrams are used in the field of set theory, probability, statistics and computer science. Hmm. We can visualize the relation between the set and set operation using the Venn diagram. Okay. Now let A and B, the two sets, uh, the difference between the two sets is the set of, uh, is the set of all elements which, which are in A but not in B. And it is denoted by A, A minus B. And the difference of B and A is B minus A. And the intersection of two sets is the set of all elements common to both A and B. And it is denoted by A, A intersection piece. Okay. And, uh, yeah, let's keep this it is a game that a child can find uh, formulas by a game master. Okay. So if we rotate, we can find the. Yes, huh? master. This is finding the angles and property of three shapes, master. Okay. Now, now it is in zero. So you can add this, all these, and you can find whether it's coming 360 degrees, master. Okay. Bye, master. You can add it. Okay. Yeah, already highlighted, master. <laughs> okay, sir, okay. even she will explain, sir. Uh -huh. If you want to say uh -huh. what is the formula, she will explain using this process. Okay. Uh -huh. Cylinder. Cylinder. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Master. Now, three times, I will. Okay, measuring. Uh -huh. Is there any measure here or no? This measure, this measurement and this measurement is height. Oh, oh, oh. Three times if you fill it, ah. the entire cylinder will be filled. Okay. So that is what uh, three into uh, we call it. Okay, I understood, sir. Thank you, Rani. Ah? Very good. Made me to understand. Hello, I'm Nidhino Prayana, Shear okay. explained with Raj Frequency Polygon. Okay. First of all, you want to know what is meant by Frequency Polygon. Mm. Frequency is nothing but number of times something is occurring. Frequency, occurs. ah. And a polygon is a mm. multi-sided closed shape. Uh, in simple words, we can tell that it's a line graph mm. which represents the data. It's very useful to mm. compare data with one another. We can use this uh, Frequency Polygon in business fields for comparing our business patterns with mm. others. Okay. Other companies. Not only business, and, uh, many places. Okay. Yes, master. Yeah. You can see on a master, some mm. numbers are arranged with intervals. Mm. They are known as class intervals. Mm. And below that, uh, you can see some numbers that like master data. They are known as frequency. As you know, frequent, or as you know what is frequency. Mm. These numbers denote you know, how many times of, uh, the mark is obtained by how many students. Mm. And, uh, very good. This I understood. Well. Okay, since we are the very good. Okay. Like, Good morning, Master. I'm Dasha Ali from 9C and I'm here to explain about Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, a mathematician called Pythagoras found this theorem, so his name is kept to this mm. theorem. Mm. In a right angle triangle, always the longer side is known as hypotenuse. Mm. And, then the, and then to find the value of hypotenuse, we have a formula x square is equal to p square plus b square. It is nothing but the square of hypotenuse is equal to the square of perpendicular by the uh, plus the square of base. Perpendicular is nothing but the height and we can extend the height up to 30 cm. For example, now it is at 20 cm. So that the square of 20 cm is 400 and the square of 29 cm is 841. So if you add the answers, 1241. Okay, so the good. hypotenuse value is root of 1241. <coughs> Very Thank you. Good morning, sir. I'm Kanushika. Yeah. The project uh, root finder quadratic equation is a web application. One of the critical problems in algebra is to find the roots of the quadratic equation. Yeah. So I've come with a solution. You have to write the equation over here, sir. After writing, you have to validate, you have to press the validate button. We'll be getting the answer over here, sir. It is yeah. a completely offline app. Offline, offline. application. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just become math teachers or some crazy mathematicians. Ah, ah. But it is so much more than that. Hmm. If, we, if we study math, we will get, uh, we will acquire some skills like logical reasoning, time management, and critical thinking. Must Very there good. Are, ah. e even we are, if we study physics and chemistry, they think that uh, we, I can make some achievements and get the Nobel Prize. Must but if we, if we study math, we can get two major prizes. Hmm. You continue.
and one of the prizes field medal it is oh. it is given to every person once a four year and uh, for a limited number of person and another medal is the third medal this mm. is also given to uh, once a four once in four year mm. and this is named after a chinese mathematician shing chen chen mm. so it is named as third medal this is a famous quote master it tells that if you break the law of constitution we will go to jail is it correct master mm. But if we break the law of math, we'll go to Berlin. Ah, you're fixed with the number something, right? Ah, nice. This is a robot, and I named it as electronic compass. This acts as the center of the compass, and this is the radius of the circle. This can be used to draw circles in bigger places such as playgrounds. Thank you. Okay.